Yo, what's up guys? You're back with your man Tech Nick, your go-to guy for videos on the latest tech. Now today, it really is all about the latest tech once again. We have the Xiaomi Mi 9 on my left over here, which is paired with a Snapdragon 855 chipset and was released about a month ago. And on the right, we have the Huawei P30 Pro, which is the newer device of the two, with an older generation Kirin 980 chipset. Not so much older generation since they are both running on 7 nanometer technology, which is brilliant by the way. Uh, but the Kirin 980 chipset was first seen in the Huawei Mate series flag ships Huawei released in November last year. Now both of these phones do indeed have a bit of a camera bump especially the Xiaomi with the biggest I've ever seen to date so we're gonna go ahead and slap on the covers that came included in the box on both of the phones. Now I've also gone ahead and enabled dark mode for both of these wonderful beasts over here but other than that I've also disabled animations on both of the phones in the respective developer options menus since there is no root option to turn off animations on the P30 Pro. Now a lot of people have been saying that I've been pushing one phone faster than the other phone when it comes to my fingers, my trusty little fingers over here. I do not have the technology such as AI robots to tap them for me like other channels do uh, but I do indeed have this trendy little GoPro 6 over here. So I'm to throw this GoPro 6 on the side of the table over here underneath the tripod that I have so that you guys can see indeed that I do push them at the same time. Okay guys well I hope that you enjoy this video and without further ado let's go. Okay so first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is boot up the phone so three two one let's go. Okay both did their little vibrate there. Xiaomi, Huawei, let's see which one boots up first and this is so exciting <laughs> I know that this is not too interesting guys but a lot of people do boot off their phones when they go to bed at night so it is interesting to see how fast they do boot up and the Xiaomi gets the first point there since it booted up quicker than the P30 Pro on your right hand side now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna boot up the devices for the first time and see how fast both of them display animation so three two one go Okay, so the P30 Pro straight away off the bat animations are just not present because the animations have been turned off. Xiaomi took quite a while, but there it is now. So the P30 Pro will then indeed get the points over there when it comes to showing all the apps once the device has indeed been turned on. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and test out facial recognition on both of these devices. Okay, so three, two, one. Okay, a little bit quick on the P30 Pro there. Let's try again. Three, two, one. Okay, pretty much neck and neck there. Three, two, one. Okay, pretty much neck and neck again. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the P30 Pro since it definitely got the best out of the speed in the first round there. So P30 Pro gets that when it comes to unlocking using facial recognition. Now, both of these devices do have optical under display fingerprint sensors and I have set the Xiaomi up with my left finger and the Huawei P30 Pro up with my right finger over here. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out right now do two or three rounds to see which one stacks up faster. Okay, so three, two, one. Okay, definitely quicker on the P30 Pro. Let's go and check again. Three, two, one. Okay, pretty much neck and neck there. Let's go again and three, two, one. Okay, pretty much neck and neck again. So the P30 Pro did seem a little bit more consistent over there, so I'm gonna give the point to the P30 Pro again. So now I'm gonna pop up my GoPro footage on the top right hand side of the screen. So be sure to check that out while we go through this test to give you an indication of how accurate my little two fingers actually are. So we're gonna start with camera at the top left, run all the way down to PUBG bottom right, then all the way back to camera to test out the RAM management and see which apps have been killed and which have retained. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start up with camera. Two, two, one. Okay, neck and neck over there. We'll give them each a point. And let's go ahead and flip to the selfie cam. Okay, a little bit quick on the P30 Pro. P30 Pro gets a point over there. Let's go ahead and test out taking a snap. Three, two, one. Okay, pretty much neck and neck there, but it's gonna get a point for that. Okay, let's go back out and let's open up gallery. Three, two, one. Okay, neck and neck again. Now let's open up that photo we just took. Okay, a little bit quick on the Xiaomi. Xiaomi will get a point over there. Let's go back. Okay, and now let's go back home. And let's open up calculator. Okay, pretty much neck and neck there. Let's go back to home and open up phone. Okay, neck and neck once again. These system apps are doing really well on the Kirin and on the Snapdragon. I'm not surprised. Let's go for settings. Three, two, one. 
Okay, a little bit quicker on the P30 Pro. P30 Pro gets a point over there. Let's go to Spotify. Three, two, one. Okay, pretty much neck and neck there, even with loading up the albums at the bottom. So we'll give them each a point over there, and let's go home. And let's go through to Astral VPN since we need a VPN in China. Three, two, one. Okay. And a little bit quicker on the P30 Pro. Let's go and turn it on. Okay, a little bit quicker on the P30 Pro again, so it gets another point over there. Let's go home again, and then let's open up Facebook now that we have our VPN turned on. Three, two, one. Okay, a little bit quicker on the Xiaomi over there. Now let's go back and hit on Instagram. Three, two, one. Okay, pretty much neck and neck there. Let's go back and hit on Twitter. Three, two, one. Okay, neck and neck once again. And let's go back. These phones are like on par, guys. I can't believe it. Okay, let's open up YouTube. Three, two, one. Okay, a little bit faster on the P30 Pro. P30 Pro gets a point over there. And let's go back home and open up Netflix. Three, two, one. Okay. Tiny bit quicker on the P30 Pro once again. Let's go back. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. Three, two, one. Okay, a little bit quicker on the Xiaomi over there. Let's open up that photo we took earlier. Three, two, one. A little bit quicker on the Xiaomi. Another point over there. Okay, let's go back over here, back home, and let's open up Adobe Clip. Three, two, one. Okay, pretty much neck and neck once again. Let's go into the video. A little quick on the Xiaomi. Xiaomi gets a point over there. Okay, now let's go and export these clips both on 1080p. Uh, so let's hit continue in three, two, one. Saving video and the P30 Pro takes the lead over there. Video saved. Gets a point over there. Okay, now let's go back home and open up Google Chrome. Three, two, one. Okay, a little quicker on the P30 Pro. Let's go back and open up Subway Surfers. Let's start with the line of games here. Okay, let's see the loading. Already loading on the P30 Pro, still waiting. And the P30 Pro takes the cake here. Actually, quite a far margin ahead. But EMUI 9.1 running on the P30 Pro is doing a great job. It is said to be a lot more optimized for the Kirin 980 chipset. Play over here and let's go back home. Okay, let's go ahead and open up flip diving. Three, two, one. Okay, you can see that the notch is cut out over there perfectly nice. Oh, neck and neck over there on the P30 Pro, but there's no way to get the full screen on the Xiaomi. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, neck and neck over there on flip diving. And then let's go back home and open up Angry Birds. Three, two, three, two, one. Okay, opening up Angry Birds. And they look to be very similar. Oh, a little bit faster on the Xiaomi. That's really impressive, guys. Okay, one, two, three, come on, Huawei. There we go, let's go home. And let's open up Temple Run 2, three, two, one. Okay, let's see what it's going to do here with a slightly heavier game. And it looks like the Xiaomi is indeed taking the cake over here. But they are very similar. Nevertheless, the Xiaomi is a tad in front. So I'll go ahead and give the Xiaomi a point over there. Okay, so now one, two, three. Let's go ahead and go back home and open up our most intense app of the bunch and the most intense game indeed, PUBG. One, three, two, one. Okay, this is definitely going to take the longest, and I'm sure you guys know that this is one of the most intensive games on mobile devices, so it does take a little longer to load than your typical game or your typical app. So we have it going a little bit fast on the Xiaomi at the moment, but let's see what happens when it has to unpack all the data, check for updates, and do the loading. They're both on the same network, and they're both running the same VPN, so the internet speed should be fairly similar there. This just comes down to opening up the game itself. So let's have a look. They're both pretty much on the exact same thing here, and the Xiaomi takes the cake over there, but nevertheless, they're both in relatively fast, and it is just minor between the two of them. So now we're gonna go ahead and go through the test round two. We're gonna go all the way from PUBG all the way back up to camera over here, guys. Okay, you ready? Let's go ahead and start with PUBG. Three, two, one. Okay, slightly faster on the Xiaomi there. Xiaomi gets a point. Let's go and open up Temple Run 2. Three, two, one. Okay, neck and neck over there. And let's go back home and open up Angry Birds. Three, two, one. Okay, a little bit faster on the Xiaomi. Xiaomi gets a point over there. 
Okay, and then let's go ahead and open up flip diving. Three, two, one. Okay. Pretty much the same, guys. This is actually insane how close these devices are. Even though they're running different processing chips in it, the Snapdragon 855 chipset here and the Kirin 980 here, they're both doing well because of how great their software optimization is. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up Subway Surfers. Three, two, one. Okay, a little bit faster on the P30 Pro to open it, but it did something funny there. So we're gonna go ahead and give it to the Xiaomi. We had no issues over there and it was at the same time there, but it loaded straight into the resume screen there. Let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome. Three, two, one. Okay, neck and neck there. We'll give them both a point. Let's go ahead and open up Adobe Clip again. Neck and neck there. And let's go back and open up Photoshop Express. Okay, pretty much the same. Let's just have to figure out what was happening with the notch. So we'll give them both a point over there. And let's go through to Netflix. Neck and neck over there, guys. And let's go through to YouTube. Once again, the same. They're both keeping them open pretty well here, guys. Twitter, three, two, one. Okay, so the P30 Pro kept it open and the Xiaomi killed the app. And the P30 Pro was quicker as well, so the P30 Pro will indeed get a point over there. Let's open up Instagram, if you want. And once again, it was open on the P30 Pro, but it was not open on the Xiaomi. Xiaomi killed it. And I can assure you guys, I've gone through all of the settings of both of these phones, turned off all battery optimization on all of these apps, and made sure that they can use as much background energy as they could possibly want. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next app, which is Facebook. Three, two, one. Okay. Both of them had to do a refresh there. Pretty much neck and neck, give them each a point over there. And let's open up Astral VPN, three, two, one. Okay, a little bit faster on the P30 Pro, and let's go ahead and turn them off, three, two, one. Okay, a little bit quicker on the P30 Pro, once again, gets another point over there. And then let's go ahead and open up Spotify, three, two, one. Okay, P30 Pro kept it open and it was faster. Xiaomi killed it once again, P30 Pro gets a point over there. Let's go back and open up our next app, which is Settings, three, two, one. Okay, once again, kept open on the P30 Pro and was faster. P30 Pro gets a point. Let's go ahead and open up phone. Three, two, one. Okay, once again, same situation, guys. Killed on the Mi 9 and still open on the P30 Pro and the P30 Pro was quicker as well. Let's go ahead and click on calculator. Three, two, one. Okay, faster again on the P30 Pro and gallery. Three, two, one. Okay, a little bit quicker on the P30 Pro. And let's go into our last one, which is camera. Three, two, one. Okay, and you can see that it was killed by the Mi 9 since it is no longer facing the right way. So indeed, the P30 Pro gets the point and it was a little bit quicker at opening the app itself anyway. Okay, so guys, we have a total of 29 points for the Xiaomi Mi 9 and a whopping 36 points for the Huawei P30 Pro, which is actually incredible since the Mi 9 destroyed the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus in one of my previous videos. Make sure you check that video out after this test. Nevertheless, the P30 Pro still did a superb job in round one and round two, though in round one, the Xiaomi definitely took the cake by an extra one point when initially opening up the apps, but due to poor RAM management, really fell behind in round two, where the P30 Pro absolutely destroyed the Mi 9 since it kept all of its apps open and the Xiaomi killed plenty of them. This is pretty interesting if you ask me guys, since the P30 Pro is paired with an older Kirin 980 chipset, whereas the Xiaomi Mi 9 is paired with Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 855 chipset, which is going to see it for the remainder of the year. I'm really happy with what Huawei have done with the optimization of EMUI 9.1, and I think that has a big factor to do with these results. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Until next time, this is Technic.